ET sensor or weather sensor to the Toro Evolution controller. Again, this is the controller that we're prepping for install. Very simple. So here's our ET sensor, weather sensor. 40 years worth of weather data in the SD card. Um, so we're going to install that in the back of the Smart Connect right there. And uh, as far as the ET sensor, I want to have those connect. I've updated the firmware to 2.13 already. So I'm going to Advanced. Okay, I'm going to hit Yes. Toggle down to uh, Add or Remove Device. First one that comes up is Weather. Toggle over to it. I'm going to add it. It's going to, it says Please Wait. It's going to ask me to, uh, ta to press the test pin to, to force the communication. And there's little red lights down in here. It's forcing that communication there. It found it. It's asking me the device ID. It says 105445. Is that correct? And you can find that on the bottom side. It says it's active. Is that correct? Yes. And now it's going to ask me, uh, do I want to do, I, want, I need to find the data within that SD card. It's going to ask me the type as far as zip or lat long. I like latitude, longitude. Okay, so we're going to do that. It's going to ask me to go over. In this region, we are plus 4. 5.247 Longitude, we are minus 0 0.93 uh, 318 at this particular property And continue. Right now it's trying to find the ET sensor again and it's pulling that uh, data from that data card and it's going to coordinate this whole thing. And there it is. So we have that. Well, I'm also going here. I'm going to go ahead and go to my sensors. I'm in advanced still. And it says it comes preloaded with the uh, rain. I'm not using a rain sensor, I'm using the ET sensor. So I'm going to make those minuses on the schedules A, B, and C. And I'm going to go down to weather, and I'm actually going to add it, and I'm just going to add it to A, B, and C, even though we're just using A. And I've got that done. Again, again same thing. They're going to coordinate between the two of them. It's going to find that data for me. It's taking the actual uh, data from the ET sensor itself. As far as... Uh, Temperature, it's going to find the strength of the signal, strength of battery, all that good stuff. And there it is, current adjust is zero because it hasn't had a chance to uh, um, get, gather any, any data. 75 degrees, it's dry. Uh, the freeze off is at 39 degrees. These two things are communicating at 8 p.m., so that's our freeze off because it's going to get colder through the night. Um, uh, dry out days, I'm keeping that way. Um, then I've got my um, water adjust I don't have. Update time is at 8 p.m. I'll keep that. And then the average number of days, it comes uh, at 3. We like to go 5. And so again, it's going to go through that. And so it's taking a 5-day average on our weather. And so we've got that all installed nicely.